Brothers and sisters, buckle your seat belts. <laughs> Don't move. <laughs> because I want to bring on a man. Yes, sir. That I'm just happy to have have as a a comrade in this struggle, as an imam in this city, as a revolutionary. As an educated man, as a learned man, as a family man, as a good man, you need to put your arms around him and to put that security around him as well. Listen very carefully to what he has to say. He's the elected imam from the Islamic side. Say I'm a racist. Well, this is my brother. And how can I be a racist and he be my brother? I want to bring on Imam Muhammad Asi. Let's bring him on. The speaker you are listening to is Imam Muhammad Asi. Imam Asi is the leader of Muslims in the metropolitan Washington, D.C. area. He previously led the daily and Jumu'ah prayers inside the Islamic Center. His speeches were inspiring, revolutionary, and thought-provoking, which eventually irritated and threatened the Middle East ambassadors who controlled the masjid. Finally, the Imam, his family, and other Muslims faithful to the cause of Islam were forced out into the streets. This khutbah originates from the sidewalk across the street from the Islamic Center, currently under siege. Ikosa, and from our Muslim brothers and sisters from that part of the country. Our next speaker is the elected Imam of the Washington Mosque. He is also an administrator, the administrator of the Islamic Educational Center in Washington. I understand it is a center like this beautiful center that we've got here with an educational center attached to it, with a big mosque attached to it, with a hall like this attached to it. So for him, I'm sure it's home from home. Sheikh al Asi is involved uh, at the moment also in preparing textbooks, preparing books on contemporary Islamic thought. He is also a Hafiz al Quran. I know also that he's a qualified research scientist. He was born in the US of A and he did his schooling there and he also did his schooling and his training in Lebanon. He's been a regular guest of ours in South Africa, in Cape Town, and we have always found him to be exciting, thought-provoking, and spiritually stimulating speaker. Brothers and sisters, to talk on the very important subject of Palestine, who is the enemy, we call on our dear brother, Sheikh Muhammad al -Asi. Also, Sheikh Dr. Muhammad Al Asi, who is the Imam of the Masjid under siege in Washington, D.C. Sheikh Al Asi is an Islamic scholar specializing in tafsir. He looks especially at the positions of Jews and, by extension, Zionism and Zionists in the Quran. Author of many works and columnist in the Crescent International, which is a mouthpiece of the Islamic International Movement. Sheikh Muhammad Al Asi is a regular visitor to South, to South Africa. Sheikh Muhammad Al Asi, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to you. Alaykum as wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And shukran for joining us. Imam Muhammad Al Asi. He is born in the United States, uh, parents from the Lebanon, Syria area. He lives in uh, Maryland, Washington, D.C. Over there, he is the elected Imam of the Islamic Center. He's the director of education in, uh, in Maryland, of Islamic education. Uh, he's a uh, member of an international uh, institute of contemporary Islamic thought. 
He is also a member of the Forum on Proximity of Islamic Faiths, which is a forum that is it's an intra-faith forum that discusses Islam with respect to different sects. Um, he is among his probably most notable um, uh, achievements. He is in the process of writing uh, 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 an analysis and and um, commentary on this on on the Holy Quran, the Taksir, in English, which is the first time such a, an attempt is successfully being done, inshallah. And he is on his roughly 10,000th page, is that about right? So, <laughs> and that's about a third of the way in. So, um, I'm kind of looking forward to when it's done. I'm sure he is too. He got his bachelor's degree in government and politics in the University of Maryland, where he also got his master's degree in uh, education. So, uh, I'd like to introduce to you Imam Muhammad al Asi. Now I think you're all waiting for our guest speaker and it's my distinct privilege and pleasure to introduce Imam Al-Asi from Washington. He was born in the United States in 1951. At the age of 11, he moved to Lebanon where he completed his high school education. He then attended the Arab University of Beirut, where he took part in extensive studies in Arab language and other, uh, other languages. In 1973, he returned to the United States and attended the University of Maryland, graduating with a degree in, in governance, government and policies in 1979. In November of 1981, he was elected as the Imam of uh, Islamic Center in Washington, D.C. He has contributed to a number of publications, and most recent being the Tafsir of Quran. He also um, has a number of other works, that books and chapters that have been written for English and Arabic language. He is advisor to Islamic Human Rights Commission and a founding member of Institute of Contemporary Islamic Thoughts. Please join me in welcoming Maulana here to Calgary. Thank you very much, Imam Muhammad al asi for conducting a purview of the Holy Quran in its correct perspective. Uh, my respected elders, brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, with the grace of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have a guest speaker for today's Jum'ah, and that is none other than Imam Muhammad al Asi. He is a scholar that has been involved in promoting Islam, defending Islam, being a true Mujahid of Islam for umpteen years. And he is very well known throughout the world. And he was here about six to nine months ago for the launch of his tafsir, the Ascendant Quran, which is a tafsir, a contemporary tafsir in English of the Holy Quran. And he's here once again with us today. We are very honored and privileged to have him here this day for Juma. He's normally in Washington, D.C., and as a sign of protest, he's always outside giving his khutbah. We, admire, we like to have him inside now and to give his own speech in his own inimitable style. And we are very honored to have him here this afternoon and may we benefit from his discourse, inshallah. Without much further ado, I'd like to call upon Imam Muhammad al Asi. We will be beginning with him. You all know that Imam al Asi is. Sorry, you all know who Imam al Asi is. We have his book sitting right at the front of the table here. He is a fellow at the Institute of, the Contempor of Contemporary Islamic Thought and is best known for his remarkable tafsir, as I pointed out at the front here. The Ascendant Quran is the title of this book. Copies of the tafsir are available here. Four volumes have been published, mashallah, and the fifth is in press. We would like to welcome now Imam Muhammad al Asi. So now uh, I would like to request uh, our honorable guest, Imam Muhammad al Asi from Washington, D.C., the Imam of Washington, D.C., to please come forward for his word. Please welcome him with a loud salawat. Allah is an executive member of the Institute of Contemporary Islamic Thought and, of course, <clears throat> the author of the Ascendant Quran. If you haven't had a copy of the Ascendant Quran, 
do yourself a favor. It's a tafsir that's contemporary and current. Do yourself a favor, get a copy. Volume 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There's enough mercy in the Qur'an and in the wording of the ayat that are reasoned in a qualifying sense to exclude these bad feelings. Therefore, we want to put these types of learned elders of Islam out of business so that they don't come to us and create problems from nothing. And we'd love for them to be present. I wish they were here. I don't know, there may be one or two. I don't, with all due respect, you know, I'm not trying to get personal with anyone. But I'd love to have a session with these learned elders of Islam. Have them come in the hundreds. And let us discuss these matters. Why do they run away? Why do they try to boycott someone like yours truly here, who's trying to explain these issues in light of the Qur'an and the Sunnah. The same references they have, we have. And we shouldn't continue to be stuck in this sinkhole. Thank you for your patience, and as frank and as blunt as I was with you, if you have any question or any comment on your mind, I will be as silent and as patient as you were with me. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.